Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Max All Purpose Gym, MAPG, don't get it wrong. Today we'll be doing a dynamic, dynamic stretch slash warm up, follow along. And to explain why the dynamic stretch slash warm up is, I'm also explaining why the static stretch is. To keep it simple, a static stretch is when you get into a certain stretch and you hold that position between 10 and 60 seconds. While a dynamic stretch is when you temporarily get into a position and you repeat it multiple times under 10 seconds. And that will be all. We're gonna go right into it in three, two, one. Okay, I lied, we are back in the gym still. I forgot to mention one thing. The reason I prefer a dynamic warm up in the beginning is because it makes me feel more loosened up. I'm sweating more, I'm more ready to go, I'm more active, so I'm actually ready to hit the um, weights. Instead of when I do a uh, static warm up in the beginning, I'm more, I'm more, I'm loosened, but I'm not as ready to go. And I'm not building up as much sweat. So I prefer to save my static stretch to the end of my workout. So I do it towards the end. And in the beginning of my workouts, I do my dynamic stretch. They're both really good though. Don't get me wrong. But dynamic first for me and static after for me. Those are my personal favorites. That'll be all. Right, three, two, one. Let's go into the video. Hello everybody. To begin, we'll be doing some forward and backward kicks. As you can see, you can do it without holding on to anything, but if it's a little bit harder, you can always choose to hold on to a ball to have more of a range of motion and more balance. But I like a challenge and you, I sweat more when I'm not holding on to anything. It just makes it a lot harder. So if you're able to, try not to hold on to anything. But if you can't, you can just easily hold on to a wall. It's no big deal. Just finishing up 10. That's number 10. Now we do some rotation. Open up the hips. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you just go slow and controlled. Doesn't don't have to go extremely slow, but just be in control. Every time I did need help, I would just touch the wall behind me. Like I said, you can always hold on to a wall. You can touch it. Just finish out these rotations, nice and slow. Get the hips open. Now we'll do some lateral kicks. I think they call these. Um, fire hydrant but I think it's only if you're on the floor but like I said opening up the hips opening up the legs loosening up the muscles it's really good stay in control one two three four five six seven eight nine ten All right, let's get into the next workout. We'll be doing some squats. Just nice and easy. Go low, take your time, come right back up. If you want, you can touch your toes on them. You can touch your toes or you can um, put your hands together and go down. I will be showing you the hands on, as you can see. I just put my hands down. Squat, chest up. Just get as low as you can, get a good hit, good, get a good Stretching your hips. Just come all the way up. Don't rush it. Take your time. All right. On to the next workout. Just put your legs on the floor. If you need to, you can always just put your hands on the floor like I am. It's easier that way if you struggle to do it. Or you could just keep your hands up if you're able to do it it's like so. All right, we did 10 of those. 
do some side to side lateral stretches. Take your time, come up, other side, come up. Just make sure you feel the stretch. Actually feel your stretch, uh, your hamstrings stretching, your whole legs, everything. Just it's good warm up. Gets you going. All right. Now we'll be doing some lateral twist. This is really good. It gets your back cracking, gets your shoulders going. It's one of my favorites. You just reach to each side of your feet. You just turn the opposite arm and you stretch it up as far behind you as you can. Do not rush it. Take your time to feel the stretch. At that, just do some lateral side to sides, back and forth, back and forth. Just keep on going. You, it feels so good, especially when you finish. All right, going right into the next workout. Do some lunges. Okay, and lean back. Get that little stretch in the front. Then go back into the lunge. Switch legs. Do the same thing. This is two. Just go as far as your body lets you. Just make sure you get a good stretch. Number three. Number four. I think I do these about six times. Number five. These really get you going. They really get you sweating. Like I said, dynamic warm ups really get me going. Six. Listen up, now we're about to work on our wrists. It's always good to have some workouts to loosen up your wrists to get them going. You don't want to just jump right in. You get on your knees, you, um, you face them backwards and you just lean forward. Slightly forward and slightly back. Try to keep your palm on the floor. It may come up a little bit, but just go right back down. Don't apply too much pressure if your wrist cannot handle it. You just go forward and backwards 10 times. Get a nice stretch in the wrist. All right, when you're done, loosen up your wrist. We going to the second one, put your wrist down, spread your fingers as far apart as you can, and rotate your elbows and shoulders in and out to the side. Loosen up your wrists, get right into the next workout, spread out your fingers again and this time we're going to rotate clockwise don't apply too much pressure to your wrist if your wrist cannot handle it go as far as it allows you to but just put your hands on the on the floor spread out your fingers and just clockwise rotation we want to do this for six all right after we do it for six this is probably the last one we want to do counterclockwise and go the other way, get the wrist going. Got the same feeling for both. You really get the wrist loosened up. Take your time with it, be patient, feel the stretch. Alright. Good little wrist workout, get that little stretch, I get up. Loosen up a little bit and we'll get right into the next one, which will be some hip bridges, hip thrusts. I don't really have a name for these. Just start off with your hands to the side and just lift up as far as you can. 
as you can see it is a little hard I'm struggling like I said but as far as you're able to if you can go higher that's even better and get a nice stretch it's working your shoulders your glutes your legs your core it works a lot Alright, we're all done with that. Get up, go back on the floor, have your hands out in front of you, and you lean to your opposite feet and you reach out. That's two, three, four, five, six. This is this can be very hard and if it is hard for you you can always just get on your knees and you could just reach with your arms still and just reach out while being on your knees if it is a little difficult and I'm ho really hoping this follow along was really helpful I was hoping it was slow enough but not too slow that you can follow along and still get a good workout this is my usual pace I don't rush, rush my workouts I take my time I get loose and get sweaty and to end it we will do with some dumbbells i usually do cables but the cables are taken so just have the dumbbells to your side bring them midway and just bring them back to get your chest and shoulders going just do it as many times as you want i think i did it for about six to eight and that will be all for the follow along Tell me that you love me